We've been using both of Grid Engineering's DDUs for the last six months, so we're now going to give you our full rundown and review. Before we run down all the details of these specific products, why get a DDU? Firstly, DDUs are an amazing tool to increase the immersion on your rig. They add an extra dimension and really bring you inside the car. Effectively, they replace that heads-up display on screen, which can break your immersion. And they give you all the information you'd have in the real car. And sometimes in the sim, that can be hidden on your screen. Secondly, there is a small competitive advantage. Now, I'm not going to overplay this. Of course, it's not going to make you drive faster. But you can get extra information that you wouldn't otherwise have. All the information available to you from the car can be viewed at just a glance. And this also negates the need for you to cycle through menus or displays to get the information you want while you're driving. Finally, they're excellent pieces of rig bling. However, much like any upgrade on your rig, there are always some considerations. They are completely non-essential luxury items that you can absolutely do without. And they're not cheap. Ultimately, DDUs like this are for people whose rig is their baby, their pride and joy. We'd like to say a massive thanks to Grid Engineering and SimLab for sending us these products to review for free a few months ago, and neither Grid nor SimLab saw this review before it was published. Our full hardware review policy is available on our website and is also linked in the description below. Now, moving on to the products themselves, let's start with the Grid DDU5. Let's have a look at some of the key features of this product, starting with its glass-covered 5-inch LCD display, which has a resolution of 854 by 480. Around the screen, you'll see 20 individual RGB LEDs, which can be individually programmed for many different functions. The whole thing is enclosed within a motorsport grade black anodized aluminium enclosure. It comes with its own software called SimRace Director, but is also compatible with third party software such as SimLab. And Grid by SimLab have also provided some dashes within SimHub, which can be used with this device. It retails at £304 or $315, but it's currently on sale on their own website for £288 or $297. Let's have a look at some of the best parts of this product, starting with the amazing build quality. It comes in a sleek black anodized case, and as with all grid engineering products, it is pretty much perfect. Mounting this product should also be made easy by the included SimuCube and Fanatic carbon fiber mounts. And that's also an indication of the target market for these products. And the DDU5 is small and light enough to mount pretty much wherever you want on your rig. Plus, its smaller size makes it compatible even with smaller rigs. Like for example, mine at home, I have a triple 24 inch monitor set up where my steering wheel is very close to my monitors and this can fit snugly between them. Once you fire up the glass fronted screen, the first thing you'll notice is how vibrant and colorful it is. And once you start driving, you'll notice it's also completely smooth. Plus, you can also adjust the brightness to suit your environment. Next is the LEDs, which can be programmed to your own liking for whatever functions you want. Now you can program these either in the Sim Race Director software provided by Grid, or you can use it by any third party software like for example SimHub. So to adjust any of the LEDs or the screen on your DDU5, simply download the Race Director software from the Grid Engineering website. Once you've downloaded that, you'll be shown something like this. On the left hand side of the screen, you have all of your grid engineering products and starting at the top right hand side you have all of your options. So you have your profile name which you can type your own in there and save different profiles depending on your car, your sim, whatever you want to do. You can save profiles, you can load those profiles as well as the default profile which works absolutely fine out of the box. It will give you rev lights, flags, spotters on the either side. You can select the dash that you want to see. So you've got some preloaded ones there, some common ones. So F3, P217, Formula V. I quite like the P217 personally, giving me all the information I need nice and clearly and you can see it on the left hand side on screen there. It will fire up on the dash as soon as you load the simulator. You can also record a track map. So in the different dash pages, you can have a look at the track map and see where you are compared to your competitors. And also at the bottom, you've got controller settings. Now this allows you to flick through the different pages of each of the dashboards if they have more than one page. And I've got it set up as this toggle switch here. So when I turn right and turn left, it goes forwards and backwards through the dash pages. So adjust the LEDs and what they do. All you've got to do is click on the respective LED it will bring up this menu here. Each LED can have up to three functions in the SimRace Director software. And also this is a neat little feature here, the take settings from. So for example, if I wanted to add DRS, for example, to this top right or this top left hand one, I click on it, change that to DRS, change it to available, change the color to whatever I want. So maybe orange, 
and this is LED number five. If then I go to the one on the opposite side, click on that and then go take settings. I select LED number five, take settings, and therefore you can see that it changes the settings to match. So you can easily make your own profiles. All you gotta do is close that and press save to make a new profile. And you can test what the LEDs will look like in certain circumstances as well using this software. If you make a mistake or wanna load an old profile, you just click on your profile, load that, and therefore everything should work as planned. So now I'm in the sim, I've got my new profile loaded up and as you can see, as I accelerate, my rev lights flash and I can adjust those so that they're different colors so they go from one side to the other, out to in, whatever I want. And when I'm racing, I'll have the pit limiter, for example, pit limiter flash there. If I've got cars on my left or right, it will light up and show me there's a car there. All those different settings and I've got the dash that I've selected and with my toggle, I can change what I see. So I've got track map, the car information, uh, and my timing information, all available at my fingertips. All you gotta do now is drive. You can make all of the changes to the screen and the LEDs using third-party software such as SimHub, but Race Director allows you to do those changes really easily and quickly, and has, doesn't have quite the same learning curve as a lot of third-party software does, so you can get up and running nice and quickly. If you want to change how the LEDs look, you just go in the profiles, change the numbers so that it does something different, and I've now made it so that it counts up from the outside to the in rather than from left to right. I'll then save that profile and then I can come back and load that whenever I want. After six months use with both of these GDUs, we've pretty much covered every use case and scenario, and there's only a couple of things we would have changed about them. One thing that we thought was a little strange about the Grid DDU5 was the fact that unlike most other products, which are either USB-A or USB-C, this is actually mini USB. Plus, that cable at the back, as you can see, comes perpendicular straight out the back of the unit, which reduces mounting versatility somewhat. For example, like if you want to put it right up against your monitor. Plus, considering it's only a five inch screen, it's quite thick and is quite deep, which means that mounting on your rig, if you've only got limited space, could be a little tricky. Overall, the Grid DDU5 is an excellent product that is built well, works perfectly, and is a great size for most people. It works for pretty much every sim, and I think it's a great option for pretty much anyone out there if you're in the market for a DDU. Now, let's move on to its bigger brother, the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup DDU 10-inch. Let's start with some of its key features with its true size 10.3 inch widescreen display. It's an officially licensed Porsche 911 992 GT3 Cup DDU replica. So it's pretty much the same thing that was used in the actual Porsche Cup car. It includes 24 individually programmable RGB LEDs and it's all housed within a single piece of motorsport grade anodized black aluminium with a top tier finish. Let's start with the glass fronted screen, which is 10.3 inches and runs at 1920 by 720 widescreen resolution at 60 Hertz. And as you can see, it's not just a normal USB DDU. It's actually connected directly via USB and HDMI and can be used as a full separate screen. It retails for £522 or $540, but it's currently on sale on their own website at £480 or $495. Now there's lots of good things to talk about with this monitor, but let's start with that screen itself. As DDUs go, it's massive, and at 10.3 inches with a 1920 by 720 display, it is crystal clear and so smooth. Exactly like the DDU5, the DDU 10 inch can be exclusively controlled using the Sim Race Director software. Once again, all you're gonna do is fire up the software, click on the DDU 10 once it's installed, and then again, same layout as before. You can have your profiles up here, you can select a dash, except this time there's only one dash available in the Race Director software as of now, and that is the grid dash, and it's actually very, very good. It's my favorite one on this DDU10. It shows you loads of information about the car, the settings, the time in the session, your lap times, your opponents, tires, everything you need is right there, and it's got a nice LED profile as standard. And I'll show you exactly what that looks like. As you can see, everything works straight away, out of the box, and you've got plenty of information running at 60 hertz this time on the DDU10. Now, this of course is the dash that is included with Race Director, and I think it's pretty much good enough for every application. It's probably the one I would use going forward if I had this installed on my rig. And also, you can use SimHub dashes and SimHub LED profiles on this, but once again, Sim Race Director allows you to get going pretty much straight away once you've installed all the drivers. Because this isn't just a USB dashboard, it also has some added advantages. So, of course, you can use this extra screen for whatever you want, not just a dashboard. You can have your Twitch chat, you can have 
uh, YouTube comments, you can have uh, another video, you can have guides, you can have your telemetry, whatever you want, whatever you can place on a screen, you can also have on this dashboard. So its usage is pretty much unlimited. And because the screen is separate from the LEDs, you can also have the LEDs still running while showing something completely different on the screen. Now, all of this extra functionality with the DDU10 comes at the price of sockets and cables. We have three cables. Of course, the USB to power the LEDs, the power, and the HDMI. So that requires you to have a spare HDMI socket into your PC to be able to run the screen. But you also need a spare plug socket as well near your rig, because the cable, I think, is only two meters long. This isn't a deal breaker for everyone, because of course, if you have a spare HDMI and a spare plug socket, you're fine. But if you don't, you'll have to think about how this is going to integrate with your rig. As good and as easy to use as the race director software is from Grid and SimLab. It is a little bit slow and sometimes a bit laggy as well. However, it is somewhat still in its infancy, so we're hoping that in the near future, SimLab will iron out all of these glitches. As we've come to expect from Grid Engineering, the finish is perfect and the attention to detail is second to none. It truly feels like a premium product and looks that way too, especially with that Porsche logo embossed behind the glass. And finally, overall, it's just a beautiful looking piece of equipment that will look great on any rig. However, its unique design and form factor mean that it might not be quite right for everyone looking for a DDU. First of all, one of its main selling points, its large size, means that it's more suited to people with larger rigs. When I put it on my rig at home, it just felt a little bit too big with my 24 inch monitors. Also, that large screen might be an issue for some users, depending on where you place it on your rig, as it can cover quite a lot of your main screen and you might find yourself peering around it to see your replay controls, for example. And finally, the mounting solution, which is a carbon fiber plate, is only designed for either Fnatic or SimiCube products, so mounting this on your rig might be a bit tricky if you don't own one of those. In conclusion, if you're in the market for a DDU for your rig and you want the best that money can get, this Porsche 911 GT3 Cup has got to be at the top of your list. If you enjoyed this hardware review, we've got loads more in our hardware review playlist on our channel. Check if you're subscribed to make sure you don't miss out on any future hardware reviews. Thanks for watching and as always, keep it pinned.